And so this very much looks like a book, and then when you open it up, like, I'm reading. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No one would question that. Never. I'm furthering my education and expanding my mind. might get supplied. Mm -hmm. We're talking back to school, y'all. Back to school supplies. I, um, I, whoa, you look like an addict right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love school supplies so much. Few things get me as excited. Do you remember the commercials of like, it's the most wonderful time of the year mm -hmm. for like people just going through the aisles of like Office Max and Staples? See, a, just a fresh pencil case with some new pencil. Like that was the most fun stuff. I'm horny for the new Lisa Frank. You know what wow. I mean? Where you'd be wow. like, wow. what's my trapper key for this year? What's my identity? Yes, absolutely, because it was a status symbol if you had an actual trapper keeper and not like the generic brand. Do you ever get one of those pens that has like 20 different colors? Yes. Yeah, pimp ass move. Oh God, and then it gets stuck because <laughs> you hit two of them down at the same time uh -huh. and then it broke. Oh God. I love school supplies so much. Do you think it's still the same because people use their phones so much? Do you guys have pencils? Pens? Oh my God. Oh, so God. God. Do you guys buy notebooks? <laughs> I mean, I remember one year I got a backpack that was just completely iridescent. And I was like, I'm making a choice this year. Whoa. You're yeah, like, I'm going in hot. Wow. We used to bad. take white out and make designs on our backpacks. Jerseys. Yeah, crazy. We're trash. We're trash gum. <laughs> I couldn't afford the Lisa Franks. So I had to draw like little hummingbirds on my backpack. No question. Yes. When you were in elementary school and high school, were you allowed to eat in your classroom? No. That was only lunch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I remember I had a first period in high school that I would sneak an Otis Spunk Meyer muffin into, oh. chocolate chocolate. <laughs> and it, I mean, these muffins are the size. Uh, those muffins are like this big. I was just like a constant sneaky eater in class. Wow, so you have a lot of experience with this. I was too afraid to get in trouble, but I did watch other people bring like sodas in and like sneak them in. Look, there's certain things I'll get in trouble for, yeah. and that is a snack. <laughs> but today, what we thought we would do is we would show you ways that you could maybe sneak stuff in school. Yeah, we think that as adults, in hindsight, we probably could have snuck in food and drink to our classrooms mm -hmm. much better. So today, we're gonna DIY some school supplies in an attempt to try and disguise food and drink. It's like sneaking a flask into a ball game as an adult. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, look at this bounty! Oh my god. This is my 12-year-old self is shook it. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. So we are calling this DIY Disguise. We've got snacks happening, we've got school supplies, so how do we combine the two to get away with it? The teach won't know the difference. All right. Okay, so we have a time limit, and then at the end we'll see who DIY disguised better than the other. Sure! Let's do it! <laughs> All right, I like to get a lay of the land. Oh, this works. See what we got going on here. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything. This is just one giant Joanne's fabrics on here. Oh, yeah, hi friends. Do we have um, scissors anywhere? Oh, that would be very helpful. No. God bless, okay. I need it too. Have you have a game plan? I do for one item. Okay. But this is not. I'm trying to make this very quality. This has to be perfect. Oh boy. You and I, I don't know, would have been friends in elementary school. I think we would have. I think I would have been like, she's quiet. I'm going to take her over. And I, <laughs> yeah. I would have been like, oh, she's loud. She has a false sense of confidence. I want that. Yeah, exactly. Are these letters? Oh. Okay, my, when I was in high school, I didn't bring a lunch. I would always buy lunch, and every day I would have an M&M cookie. Um, a bag of Funyuns, and a grape slushie. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and then I would go run track. It was great. How I'm alive right now without like high blood pressure it blows my mind. I always brought my lunch because I was a vegetarian starting at eight years old. Wow. So like I couldn't, <laughs> so I, am I being bullied? <laughs> no! I just said I admire how brave you were. That, that oh. sentence was a lot shorter. Uh, <laughs> I would bring my lunch because, like, what, on pizza day, what was I gonna eat? Just the side of corns? Do we have any fabric? Hmm, I'm trying to think. Ooh, okay. I think we're doing pretty well. Yeah. Diane, what was your favorite snack? I know you I mean, talk are about a snack attack. Queen of snacks. I would uh, pressure other kids to draw snacks. <laughs> so you were a bully. So you were a bully. You're just admitting you were a bully. 
a bully for food? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting down to the wire, Grace. This is harder than I thought. Yeah, I don't, I'm not totally in love with my plan. The key to smuggling any sort of like food or beverage in is to really commit oh. to it looking like something that you're, that's not contraband, is my opinion. I, you know, as someone who just would eat an Otis Spunk Meyer muffin <laughs> in the face of authority, I, yeah, you just gotta walk in with confidence. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. I gotta get this. I gotta get this. Okay. Ah! Okay, it's down to the wire. 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, um, <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for class. And five ah. seconds. Four, five, four, three, two. Got it. Pencil's done. <sighs> this is tougher than I thought. Yeah. Okay, should we explain our um, DIYs? Sure. This is my most, like, didn't even try. Okay. I just put some goldfish in a pencil case and said, money for the poor. Um, <laughs> yeah, why would you even question that? You're awful if you try to question Yeah, that. if someone went for this, I'd be like, you're greedy, Miss Vestal. This is for the poor. That's a specific shout out. I know, I always <laughs> just shout out that teacher on this show. <laughs> May she rest in peace. Uh, that's a great idea. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. Well, Someone go check in on her, perhaps? <laughs> Here's one of mine. Okay. Um, this says inhaler medicine. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Yeah, so if I'm like freaking out and then I reach inside to get in here, and no one's gonna question this because the kid that's having an asthma attack, everyone's like, yeah, get away yeah, from me. You're totally. not bred for survival. Oh, what do I have? Oreos. Whoa, and you can inhale those. And I can inhale these. What this else one's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This one, like I said, musically gifted. I would take and I'd be like, it's a maraca, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just brought my own instruments. It's a maraca. I, I mean, who would question that? Okay, um, this is my next one. I didn't know how to spell Canterbury Tales. Oh, yes. Um, which is a, a commonly read book in, in school. elementary school. And so this very much looks like a book. And then when you open it up, like, I'm reading. Oh, my God. No one would question that. Never. I'm furthering my education and expanding my mind and like, eating it's an some inter treats. It's an interactive book. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I also made a, a disguise something as a book. Okay. Um, and that is the, the Bible. Um, <gasps> similar to my Money for the Poor, mm -hmm. if I say that I'm reading the Bible, you know, people don't know. You know, look, I'm from the South. <laughs> And there's certain things you know are taboo and they won't question you on. Yeah, no. So, yeah, so they think you're reading the Bible. And then, and then she's getting to the New Testament. And then you're like, oh, it's a miracle. Jesus turned my pages into fruit snacks. Oh my God. Uh -huh. He had two loaves of bread and turned them into fruit snacks. Yeah, and then they're like, well, turn them into more. Do you have enough for the rest of the class? I hate that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is my laziest um, solution. It's just a regular notebook. But it says can't touch this. Can't touch this, so it's letting people know don't touch my stuff uh -huh. because, uh, oh, my notes. I have to refer <laughs> to my notes. <laughs> I gotta study cram for this quiz. Well, I think we did a great job, Grace. Yeah, we gave uh, Laura DIY a run for her money today. So there's some tips for you guys to go snack to school. We're old. And our gratitude problem today comes from Instagram user Brittany Marie Butler, who did this awesome gratitude problem mouth drawing. It's awesome. Wow. Wow, indeed. Great job. Thank you so much, Brittany Marie Butler. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, share, all that fun stuff. I'm out of breath. Let me get my inhaler. I'm going to go eat my Bible. <laughs>